The Gathering 2019 with the Miller Brothers. It's been at least a year, gentlemen, and we have someone missing, but we're just going to press on. Yeah. yeah, we'll get by. How you doing? Good. Good. Good You've been doing you. well? Doing well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, obviously, things have been going well with the company. You're doing your internet yeah. sales. Yeah, and we're always busy. We always have something going in the shop, something new. Um, this year, we got some of the few things that might be familiar. Um, our 27, some of our swords that uh, everybody asked for. Fairly new for this year. Um, we had some of these, I think we debuted last year as our T1 folder. We do those in a bunch of different blade profiles and different styles. Um, the newest thing we have is probably our M31. It's a larger chopper. Uh, we do this uh, with custom blade finishes, different handle textures and things like that. Um, overall, the dimensions will be similar. And slight different variances on the blade configuration uh, sometimes itself. Sometimes we'll, we'll we'll do different blade profiles. We'll do tondo tips and you know maybe you know back grinds on the blade. Uh, this one has a satin back grind um, and a custom finish, as well as a, a tapered G10 handle. Um, and we do the sheaths. Um, obviously, we do the custom um, accessories on the sheath, the leather with the Kydex. Um, this is a DMT diamond hone in the pouch. Uh, we can add fire steel loops and things like that, but most of the time our sheaths are, you know, set up with some sort of carry options on the Kydex sheet. So. Right, and if I recall correctly, sheaths are in-house, correct? Yep, we do all the sheaths in-house. The leather work we do ourselves. Um, some of it's pretty time-consuming on our on our bigger items, but it's, we do it all in-house. Okay, very good. Let's just, if you're comfortable with it, let's cover uh, like your. Uh, Price point, retail price point on the new chopper. Yeah, the 31 is going to probably run. This one's a little more custom than something that uh, you know. We don't always do the custom features. It may have a little less of the uh, detail in the handles or something like that. Yeah. But they're going to start at probably around 1600, uh, 15 to 16, depending on what we do to it. Uh, this one I think is. This one is 16, with and that's with all the sheath accessories. So we could probably bring the price down a little bit from that if you didn't want some of the sheath accessories or things like that. But as it's pictured here, it would be around 16. On your Wakazashi sized blade, what is um, the price on that? With the back carry system, uh, with the pouch and everything on it, which is usually how we set it up. Uh, usually they go around two thousand dollars. Again, you know, if you don't want this sharpening system and that on it, um, that, that'll kind of knock some off the price. But usually that's about where those are for that size. And our pricing is based on how big the item is, some of the finishes, stuff like that to it. So um, handle details, anything like that, you know, the price might fluctuate, you know, within kind of around that price. The more you basic you it. make it, the less yep. it drops a little bit. Yep. How about on the new folders? And um, I think we did talk about, the, about those. Folders, the T1, as you can see, each one is a little bit different when we make them. Um, you know, depending on which one of us makes it, uh, that has a little bit something to do with it. Price on these start kind of around maybe even 18, going up to around 21, something like that. Again, it depends on the features and the time that we have in making it up. Millwork, so, details. Or, yep. uh, Materials as yeah, well. materials, yeah, and uh, just kind of the detail that goes into it, um, you know, and time and material. You know, something like this one with the more with the more detailed millwork, um, you know, and, and, and maybe a, you know flame finishes or things like that is going to be a little bit more than let's say this one, which is a you know not basic but has less of the mill details. Right. So less grinding time. Yep. Yeah, yep. Less time on it. Less stuff, time is um, less price. You know. Yeah. And since we've got them on the table, if you don't mind, might as well just give price points on Yeah, this is our M27. Uh, it's got about a four and a half inch blade. Um, and we do a sheath like this, this paddle style. And we also have this style here that, um, you know, has a belt loop and scout loop carry option. Uh, price around this is around 550. These are all in Z-Wear steel. As you can see, this is in quarter inch. Well, it's actually 0.28, which is a little over quarter inch. Um, and that's that's our 27 model. This here is our 32, which is a little bit thicker Z-Wear steel. That's what everything is, even the swords, is Z-Wear steel. Um, this one runs around 700, yeah, 725 for this knife, and this is in 0.32, which is a little over 
5 16 so all of our stuff's kind of on the bigger thicker side Right. Again, the sheet's got a sharpening system and also this uh, ferro rod, which we also make that brass um, holder there on the on the ferro rod as well. Okay. Very good, guys. Listen, yeah. travel safe home, okay? Yeah. Enjoy good luck to you. Good time. fortune, right? Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.